Prepare to be astonished. As you can see, this is the Invisible Man inviting you to the Halloween show on the correct views. All of the stories you're about to see are real. Of course, all of the characters are not. I hope you enjoy it. Buddy Puff, you are up. Oh, man. He's like sounding so good in practice, man. You know, Christelle, the way he did that, man, you'd swear like we were really going live, man. Hey, 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 buddy. Yeah, man, I can't wait. I am so hyped. I'm the intern at The Correct Views, man. I'm Buddy Puff. I'm all ready to say it when it goes live, man. Buddy, it's time. <coughs> You're alive. <coughs> oh, hi, man. Oh, hey, man, welcome to the Halloween edition, man. Sam wanted me to tell everybody that every Melatonin Monday, we're going to do a different one of the fake characters that we normally cram into one boring show. Like, this way we can turn it into, like, a whole bunch of boring little shows, like, throughout the month. Hey, <laughs> Christelle, is that a good plug? Uh, no, buddy. Uh, all right, I'm just going to go. You got to get better. Uh, I'm going to get better, Puff. Better, buddy Puff. Yeah, all right. Listen, man. I, Roger Stone, his name is like Roger Stone. Could he get any better? Man? Well, anyway, he used to work with Mr. Trump. And allegedly, like, well, like, kind of according to what I think, uh, he got stoned with him. Okay. Now, I don't know. The black helicopters, man, going to be like coming to Buddy. Together. On topic. Oh, yeah, man. It's a long story, too. So, basically, Roger Stone was going to speak at a place that was going to unify liberals and Democrats about pot. And they told him he couldn't speak because he liked Trump, so they thought he was like a, a Nazi or something, even though, you know... The Nazis took over most of Scandinavia, and that's where Melania's from. Buddy! <clears throat> oh, the story, yeah. The, the fate of legalized medical marijuana, according to the Gateway Pundit, and this is written by Roger Stone, in the U.S. was the precarious place last week. That means everything we've been working on for weed in this country could be in jeopardy. Even though every appropriation passed by the House and Congress since 2014 included an amendment that explicitly denied the Department of Justice funding a crackdown on marijuana. Now, what I think happened is, like, they all got kind of high, Christelle, and said that you could go ahead and have it in certain states, and then they forgot that they said it, and then later on, people were, like, getting high in states, and then they sent the cops to be like, no, man, they never said that. And suddenly, after intense lobbying by Attorney General Jeff Sessions, man, I've had a lot of general sessions, you know, I don't think he's had any. The ho I know, I gotta keep going. The House Rules Committee said they would not allow the amendment to be attached to the current appropriations bill. So basically, like, Sessions is like, yeah, we lied. Fortunately, the support of President Trump and Senator Schumer, and those two, like, never agree, man. Like, you know how I said earlier that people should agree more, and like... I'm getting off topic. Yeah, yeah, but... But anyway, Schumer's like a raging Democrat. He thinks, like, Trump's, like, evil Nazi guy or something. So the amendment was attached to the emergency appropriation bill of Hurricane Harvey, and he was going to go in Washington to speak on it because Sessions had, like, really made him mad and stuff. Well, recently he said, I launched a bipartisan effort, and <laughs> not me, like, <laughs> Roger Stone the United States Cannabis Coalition to persuade Mr. Trump to honor his pledge made during the presidential campaign. I'm going to go ahead and take this off screen share so you guys there can see like a Halloween fun. I think they were getting none of the fun because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, he said that basically the president was to order Attorney Jeff Sessions to continue to honor the Holder Memo. Now, he said he's not a newcomer to the issue of marijuana, which is kind of something him and I have in common, so maybe I could be like Roger Stone and work with the president. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I have written and spoken and marched and rallied for drug laws, he says, for 20 years with a name like Roger Stone, man. 
He spoke at the Countdown to Justice rally along with Russell Simmons and Reverend Al Sharpton, who also never agrees with Trump on anything. But they all agree on, like, getting high. So, Christelle, you think if we took the states of South marijuana and got stoned with Kim Jong-un that we could fix everything? I thought you said this was a long story, buddy. It's one story. One story. Oh, wait, man. Don't. Uh, yeah, you're right. Listen. Well, shortly thereafter, a group of dissidents announced a boycott and said that he couldn't speak there. And the reason, like, they said he wasn't allowed to do it was that he was some kind of misogynist or deplorable racist and anti-Semitic rhetoric. Rhetoric, while many of the alleged quotes that offend them are simply fabricated things that he never said. Which meant, man, they had that really good weed, and they were getting stoned out of their minds, man. And then they were saying to themselves that there wasn't any possible way they were going to stick with it, so they just lied, you know. Speaking of sticking with it... Ironically, man, Miss Money says she conferred Miss Money and Mr. Stone. Man, you could do a lot with those two. They got with the Reverend Al Sharpton, who was being paid $25,000 to speak there, man. And yet they told Stone that he couldn't speak even with a name like Stone, man. Just in terms of raw numbers of those prosecuted under our archaic federal drug laws... It was Obama and Clinton that would make Reagan look like pikers. And yet they were condemning the Republicans for the war on drugs. So basically the left and right get along when it comes time to talk about what to do with drugs. But then they remember when they're not high that they don't get along anymore. So they're like, oh man, just forget it. Let's just keep fighting. So they fight in between getting stoned. And that's your report, man. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let Sam close out here, and I know you guys are going to vote for me, because I gave you some concise to the point recording, man. Yeah. Um, I don't even really know what to say about that, to tell you the truth. Uh, here's what I'm going to tell you, friends. Just go ahead and let us know how you like Buddy Puff, um, and give him a vote on the scale of 1 to 10. That's going to be the easiest way to do it. In case you can't tell, it was me, and uh, I don't even know why I bothered to change. I'm so used to Halloween. Um, let me know which characters you like the best. Next week, we're going to have the redneck, Jimmy John Joe, Billy Bob Joe, Jimmy John, and uh, that was Buddy Puff bringing you the update about Jeff Sessions and uh, Trump changing his mind on weed. Let me know which character you like the best, because they're going to be doing Halloween Sunday. Happy Halloween!